Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy with another project. Friends, let's take these adorable bee napkins and make this hexagon tray. Oh, so excited. So I got these napkins from Inspired Creations. Paula gave them to me. Oh, I'm so excited. So if you want to know where she got them, you got to message her. Um, Inspired Creations. It's a little shop in Lanesboro where I put my stuff that I sell, that I make here. I know. So anyways, all right. So we, back to the project. We get our napkin down to one ply and then I'm just cutting out one of the panels and then I'm cutting out some strips of just the honeycomb part. So see how I'm doing that? And I'm just making strips so that it is as big as the inner wall. Does that make sense? Okay. So then I'm taking some Mod Podge and we're just going to put those strips that we just cut right on the inside wall. Just like that. Is this part necessary? Maybe not, but I thought it made it look really cool. So just do that all the way around. And when you get to the end of one, I just splice another one in. I mean, it's an easy enough pattern to match up. So that's all I did. If you get to the very end and you have a square that's just cut another square out, it's fine. Um, they're easy enough to do. And again, because the, the pattern is wicked forgiving. So it makes it super easy to do this. The only thing that I would say is just, just make sure that you really adhere it because if you don't, it's going to bubble out. Okay. So just make sure you have enough Mod Podge down on your um, surface. And then I don't even wait for it to dry. I, once I get it all in there, I sand it. Perfect. And see that one at the end right there, or that floppy one, <laughs> I just spliced another piece. And because I had gotten to the end and um, needed another one. And then I put another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. And then, so this little hexagon thing, I don't think it's a hexagon. I think it's an arc. I don't know what it is. Pentagon. Whatever the shape is, it came with a piece of um, cardboard on the very inside. I just used that to cut out the inside um, B design. That's all I did. Then I put some um, Mod Podge on the bottom of our little, what is this? Is it a hexagon? Friends, I am, I think it's a hexagon. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Just be kind. Extend me some grace. <laughs> Love me through it. It's fine. It's been a long day. So here we go. Put our napkin on the inside of that and just make sure that you adhere it. You could use plastic wrap, but my awesome, my extra awesome fingers, I just couldn't get it in and make it worth my while. So I just pressed it down with my hand and then I put another layer of Mod Podge on top of that and then I actually took a dauber and daubed some more Mod Podge on top of that just because I didn't want to see the brush strokes so there's that nice so then I'm gonna let it dry and you do not have to do this part but I love me some um primitive so I dry brushed some black paint on it because I love that distressed look look at how pretty it is Oh, I love it so much. And then I had these wood beads from a project from another Dollar Tree thing that I saved. And I just glued the little wood beads on the bottom as little feet. And are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. I love it so much. This is perfect for paper clips. It's perfect for bracelets, whatever. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. And I hope this inspired you. And thank you, Paula, for the super cool napkins. Uh -huh.